The Empowered Caregiver Conference is a free conference that is offering information and resources to family caregivers. Here with more is Marketing Manager of Well Home Agency, Sonia Dulek. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So this is really exciting. You've got this conference coming up later this month on November 29th, the first of its first annual one that you're putting together. But I thought before we get into that, I mean, just to kind of set the stage for everything, it's National Caregivers Month and people have heard of Well Home Agency, but maybe let's get into the details about what it is that the agency does and get into that kind of caregiving discussion a bit. Sure, thank you. Well Home Agency actually has been around for over 18 years. Uh, we've been serving families in the St. Louis area, St. Louis County and City, uh, with really with personal care and homemaker chore services. So any families that have someone that might be disabled or have a chronic disease state um, or just elderly and they need that extra helping hand in the home to help out with grooming, dressing, bathing help, um, uh, or just the cleaning the bathroom or the kitchen, we have those caregivers that can go in and, and help them out. Mm -hmm. And I know that it's when I was looking at some of the information um, like perusing through your site, it really is that importance too of people, whether they're elderly or as you mentioned, disabled, for them to remain in their home, which is a safe place for them and a very comfortable place for them, And but having the care at home. I know there's these kind of four areas. There's personal care, respite, home chores, and nursing. Do you want to briefly kind of get into some of those? Sure. So definitely the home chores would just be the everyday, daily living, uh, things that you do around your house, washing the dishes, helping out with laundry, taking the trash out, uh, cleaning bathrooms and kitchens. Those things sometimes become more difficult when you do have a chronic disease state or you're elderly and your, your mobility has decreased. Um, respite care would really just be taking time away from your loved one, mm -hmm. the caregiver, just to run an errand that they need to do for themselves. Mm -hmm. um, we can send a caregiver in short term or long term to help out where they can just have a break away. Mm -hmm. uh, and then again, just your personal care would really be helping them get that bath or helping them with grooming or dressing help or even setting up their medications for them so that they can remember to take them on time and manage their disease state over time. And I noticed there was a distinction between personal care and advanced personal care. So when it gets to advanced personal care, maybe give me an example of what that might mean. Sure. So advanced personal care would be more where a nurse would need to go in for maybe someone that has a diabetic state um, and they need to take their insulin on time or they need um, to have foot exams, things of that nature, where it's a little bit more than just bathing, putting on your clothes, or helping brush your, brush your teeth, but someone that needs a more of an intense evaluation over time to manage their, their state. Mm -hmm. And that kind of segues then into the nursing category, which is, I'm yes. assuming it's a range of nurses that you're able to help coordinate in the care, is that correct? Yes, that's exactly right. If, if they have a, a disease state long term that really needs to be managed over time, then a nurse would really need to watch over them to make sure that they're taking care of themselves um, in the way that they should be. So let's kind of talk about when you're thinking about, so it's sort of the ways to know if your loved one needs care at home. What might some of those be? I mean, sure. what are those real markers? This is the time we need to for example, call right. well home agency. <laughs> so if a loved one is really has more um, increasing forgetfulness and like where are my keys or they can't remember when their next appointment might be. If you see in their kitchen their dishes are piling up or that the trash needs to be taken out. Um, if they're having more driving accidents or um, an increased um, events of falling in the home, um, increased uh, emergency room visits, anything like that where you feel like I just can't handle it anymore and it's over my head and I really need some help inside of our home um, to alleviate us this extra stress, then that's when you might give a home health agency a call and say, how can you help us in some way? And do you feel that you're, the inquiries that you get, are they coming directly from the families or is it also maybe a medical, a doctor or a nurse who is sort of putting you, or a social worker even, putting you putting a family in touch with you? Again, when, sure. it, when do you make that call individually or do you wait for a doctor to say, to give instructions? Right. You can always, a family can always call directly a home health agency just to ask those initial questions or if they do fit the category of having, of getting help in the home or sometimes the social workers or case managers at a hospital will recommend them um, or a nursing home like if they're just getting discharged back mm -hmm. home to live um, they'll send in a, a home health agency to help them out to um, get them back on the right foot okay well I'm gonna um, we're gonna show a full page graphic on the screen for you to learn more about we're gonna get into the details of the conference in our next segment but if you want to learn more we've been talking about Sonia and I just what well home agency does and sort of ways to know if your loved one needs home care head for more information head to wellhomeagency.com to get that details, it lays out these categories of personal care, respite, home chores, nursing, really talks about their mission and specifically the services that they provide. But don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're gonna talk about this Empowered Caregiver Conference. So stay with us right after this short break.